Mercedes, thank you for joining us. And as, as we talk about all this, President Biden's on vacation at Camp David. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki out of the office until next week. Shouldn't they be cutting their trip short? I mean, Biden is obviously weighing and looking at and talking to his officials ab about what's going on. But shouldn't he address the nation now, not in a few days? Yeah, there's no of course. And, and we saw that uh, Jake Sullivan, the national security advisor uh, for Biden, came out saying that maybe it'll take a few days before he, ad he addresses this issue of Afghanistan. Obviously, time is of the essence. We're seeing these images continuously coming out, including executions of uh, individuals that have been left behind in Afghanistan. And also, it is now a moment in time where President Biden needs to come out and speak out immediately. And Let me tell what? you, when I, I visited Camp David with President, well, I, I was with uh, President Trump at Camp David. You can quickly put together a press conference. You can uh, have the press pool there and speak up quickly. And basically, well, you know, I think for President Biden, he's caught in a very difficult situation because of the pure abandonment of the Afghan people. President Biden has handed over the Afghan women and girls to the Taliban who will they will be brutalized by these terrorists and he needs to basically explain why he made this decision to withdraw the troops in such a swift manner as we know this is probably one of the biggest failures in foreign policy by this administration despite the fact that President Biden has said that he is so experienced in the international relations arena. So he will need to come up with a plan of how he's going to insert troops, whether they're going to bomb certain areas where we know that there's a Taliban stronghold, and see what actions he's going to take to basically bring calm to this process. But I got to tell you, Lauren, I think it's a little too late. And many are saying this is his Vietnam, but I, I, I do want to digress slightly because critics mercedes they're slamming the msnbc host joy reed after she compared the religious right in the u.s to the taliban this is what she tweeted and i'm quoting this is the real life handmaid's tale a true cautionary tale for the u.s which has our own far religious right dreaming of a theocracy that would impose a particular brand of christianity drive women from the workforce and solely into childbirth and control all politics. What do you say to Joy Reid about that, Mercedes? Joy, Joy Reid is a radical leftist who basically is a denier of, of, the, of, the, of people who want to practice their faith, a denier of God. Like, that is a complete insult to the men and women who worship freely in America, to the men and women who believe that their religion and their Christianity is so important to help ensure that we have a peaceful nation, a peaceful society, raising their children. Uh, you know, so for me, I think it's so insulting. It's so horrific what she spews uh, in trying to attack the religious right and comparing them to the Taliban. The Taliban that yeah. force marriages, g get these girls and put make them sex slaves. It is an outrage, and she should come out and apologize. And to, and for Afghan women to hear that now, I mean, I think... I think they would love, absolutely love, to be right here in the U.S. Mercedes Schlapp, thank you so much for taking on all those topics for us today. We appreciate it.